Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm Noel Salas. Today's surfboard review, the Sharpie Inferno FT, stands for Philippe Toledo. This is the model Philippe won his first world title on, and you guys have been asking for this review for quite some time now. Now I have special guest, Marcio Zuvi. He's gonna talk about designing the Inferno FT with Felipe, break down a little bit of the board attributes. You're gonna love this, sit back, get your favorite drink, enjoy the show. Stoked to be back here. Sharpie headquarters, Marcio Zuvi. We're talking FT, Philippe Toledo model quad, right? Yeah, stoked. Thanks for coming, guys. So maybe you could help me with a little bit of a board breakdown. This board's been on my radars and we've had tons of requests for this mm -hmm. for a couple of years now since Felipe won the pool, Kelly's uh, pool event. Yeah. And then he won the world title on uh, yeah. um, Dark Arts and yep. he was riding the FT model. So. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about this board, what makes it unique? The whole thing started when Philippe asked for a quad. Uh, you know, it's hard to work with these guys when they're on the tour because the schedule is so tight and you really don't have uh, time to experiment other than the break that we have after the finals. So after that, uh, he, he's just like, he, he loves to experiment different boards, like twins especially, but he asked for a quad and I asked, what kind of quad do you want? Do you want a quad for like small waves, like a summertime kind of, kind of board or no, no, no. I want a high performance quad, something mm. that I can surf just like my truster. I was like, all right, well, cool. Let's grab one of the trusters, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and let's play around with the fins and see what we can get to, you know. That, that was a, my, my first thought was this, okay, I'm going to grab a regular board that he likes, which was starting the Inferno 72. And I'm going to just put some quad fins in there and see how the results were. And then from that point on, we started to, okay, the first feedback was positive. What are we going to do to improve? And like we discussed before, you know, the quads right off the bat, everybody that jumps on a quad feels the difference on the speed. Yeah. Speed is noticeable. Even if you're not a good surfer, you notice your board goes substantially faster. So, okay, plus one, you know, for that. So now how are we gonna fix the other problems that, you know, comparing the quad versus the truster, mm -hmm. which is projection off the bottom turn and recovery sometimes from the turn when you're applying a lot of pressure and mm -hmm. a little slidey feel yeah. sometimes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's what we aim for as far as trying to play not only with the quad set up, but also adjusting a little bit of the shape, mm -hmm. rocker and, and, uh, and, and rail edge to accommodate those changes. Yeah. Compared to the Inferno 72. Exactly. Okay, so yeah. Inferno 72 was a favorite of mine. Yeah. That board's excellent. Is there considerably more tail rocker here compared to the Inferno 72? Uh, not really. In the beginning, they were uh, uh, the same. And then I added a little bit more towards the very end mm -hmm. uh, in order to solve that problem from okay. uh, that we discussed as far as recovering from the, the, the rotation. Right. You know? So it's a little bit more, but not much more. Just on the, this area right here, that was the idea from when he was rotating, he was catching and flipping the board. Right, right. But um, yeah, I mean, quad, it's, it's been on my, my radar for a long time. I mean, I'm from the 80s and I've seen the quads uh, pop, you know, back then, Glenn Winto, and uh, it was a Brazilian guy too that kind of created to the, the same at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I had a few quads back then, all glass on. So I, I love the design itself. But translate, fast forward to the surfing that these guys are doing today, how yeah. can I adjust that quad setup into what these guys have? I mean, Philippe is a, a fast surfer right off the bat. Yeah. Whatever you give it to him, he's already go fast. Mm -hmm. And now I'm giving a design that's even faster. Right. So he's like, and that's why it was so impressive because he was, like you said, he was, he was going, you know, to making sections that some floaters oh, yeah. and some things that he made sections that maybe, you know, in a, with a normal truster, he wouldn't. Right. And, uh, and that was pretty positive, you know. Now, a lot of people sometimes they feel like, oh, is this the right board for me? I mean, is the quad something that I, I would um, have on my quiver? I think even from uh, an intermediate to a, a good surfer, 
uh, it, it, it's the notice on speed is something that really helps you, you know, uh, to perfect your maneuvers because sure. speed is everything. Yeah. You know, you got speed, you can, you just, even if you don't make a proper turn, you're still going to be able to recover easier if you right. have the speed. Yeah, absolutely. You know? So, yeah, and this is one of the things that this design has. Now, bottom contours, is it similar concave to the Inferno 72? Exactly. Similar concaves. Sometimes this, this model here, because you have the E3 construction, mm -hmm. you have that layer of, of, uh, of uh, Enigra plus carbon. Mm -hmm. You put your hand here, you might feel like I, I intentionally did a double, but mm -hmm. no, this bump was created by, by the actual uh, cloth. Okay. So, but no, it's, it's a single running all the way to here, same way, and flatten it out here. Now, would you say the single um, under the front foot is pretty aggressive or is it moderate? It starts to get deeper in the base, right between your base. Okay. You know, right here. That's the deepest part. Right. Right here. It's, it's, it's fairly deeper than, than most of the designs, but the deepest part is right here. You know. Okay. Now, would you call this a high performance shortboard, a daily driver, somewhere in between? And what's the wave range? Somewhere in between. And it can be written from, you know, medium, like one, two, all the way to solid serve. Right. Because believe it or not, the quads, once you change the, the quad rears for mm -hmm. a good size, yeah. the drive is substantial. Right. That's why a lot of guys use quads and guns. Right. You know, you have the speed and you definitely have uh, the drive. So yeah, it can accommodate actually in, in solid serve. Now, after putting the Inferno FT through the paces here at the pool, I'd say it's fast. Every board seems fast here. The way I gauge speed on the board like this is how fast is it top to bottom? Wave one is the steepest here. And if I can get three good turns off on wave one without having any two pumps at the bottom, that's where I know the board's carrying good speed. Now, usually riding a thruster or a twin plus trailer, even a twin fin out here with the right fin set up is ideal. I love the Storm's twin turbo here at the pool. And one of the things that I was wondering is how will this board go as a quad? So quads are really fast down the line. They offer a little bit more release at the peak of a turn. And over the years, I've drawn the quads. Born and raised on thrusters, I love the pivot. But with my fin set up, I have a neutral side fin, which is the best of both carve and pivot. And then my quad rears are pretty upright. So it's allowing me to pivot real quick. Think of this. Because I have two fins on the rail, when I put the board on rail, I've got twice the base to push off of. So lots of drive here, lots of speed. And with this fin setup, I didn't lack that pivot. And I talk about the release at the peak of a turn. It just keeps the board super fun and interesting. Now, I will say this. I'm 5'9", 173 pounds, and this is a custom 5'6" coming in at 26 liters, uh, the width is 19 and the thickness is 2.38. If I were to get this board stock for the ocean, it'd be more like 5859. So I talked to Marcio, he scrunched it down. He made it a little wider and a little thicker. Guys, this is perfect. Look at my um, custom dims, look at the stock dims, and you should be able to play within the range that Marcio did for me. So 5859, okay, I shrunk, we shrunk it down at least two to three inches. So this will give you a good guideline to mess around if you need to order this board custom to get it exactly what you want, whether you're surfing the pool or you wanna ride it as a high performance short board or a daily driver in more smaller waves, I think you can be creative using my custom dims and looking at the stock chart and help nail it for yourself. Or you guys can reach out to the folks at SharpEye and they'll help you get it dialed. Now, one of the things that's really important for me is I really like the stringerless EPS epoxy constructions here in the pool. I want that extra pop. I want that extra projection and drive through turns. And like I said, I want my boards a little bit shorter. This is a tight, cuppy little transition. So I, I don't wanna ride boards longer than five, six here at the pool. So plenty of rail line, plenty of drive from the fins. And this is the E3 construction and I really felt like it had the pop that I was looking for, that projection and drive. And uh, durability is pretty much on another level compared to a PU Poly. I'm heavy 
footed on these types of boards or on a PU Poly in general. And this board has some foot wells and this board's pretty durable and it's holding up real well. Hey guys, what's going on? Super excited to be doing this review of the Inferno FT by SharpEye with Noel. My name is Eddie Lester. I am six feet tall. I am 190 pounds and I am riding the six foot SharpEye Inferno FT model in the dark arts construction. I'm riding this board with the Rasta quads, as you can see here. So I really feel this board is great for anywhere from about two to four foot surf all the way up to that, you know, six to eight, occasional 10 foot uh, sort of range. Um, one thing that I did notice was that it had a ton of down the line speed and especially with that quad, I felt like I was flying down the line and then when I went to pivot, I really felt like it was a traditional, you know, regular high performance shortboard, uh, even more so because of that extra tail rocker that I was really able to push and really pivot hard. Uh, I love that feeling. Uh, you know, in that dark arts construction, I felt like it was a, a little extra pop kind of coming, you know, especially in California where you need a little extra spring. I feel like uh, the uh, dark arts technology even gave it a little extra boost to make it even more high performance. So overall, this is one of my favorite California shortboards I've ever ridden. I highly recommend it. I'm sure you've seen other people ripping it. Definitely go out and get yourself one because it is absolutely a must have in your quiver. Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson. This is the SharpEye Inferno FT and it's in their Stringer epoxy technology. I'm 5'8", 180 pounds. This board's 5'9 and a half and comes in at 29.5 liters. I've ridden it in good waves down in Puerto Rico, and Noel asked me to take it out here in North Florida at some of my local beach breaks and try it out. So I really like surfing this board in good waves in the Caribbean. In Puerto Rico, I caught a nice overhead swell and it rode awesome. Um, here in Florida, it actually surprised me a little bit too because it was fun to ride here in Florida. It's not the typical type of board I would normally ride here. But when Florida waves, when my local beach break stood up or had a walled up section, it performed nicely. I'll say this, it was probably a little too long um, for the smaller Florida conditions. And it was probably, I'd, I'd probably get it a little bit thinner um, and a little bit shorter just to make it a little more maneuverable from rail to rail through the flat sections. And I think that would help me get more speed in smaller Florida conditions. Here in Florida, I went with the speed generating fin, the Hayden Shapes quad set, and that worked well for Florida conditions. I think it gave me a little bit of added speed through the flat sections. And so even though this board was a little bigger than I than I would have liked in Florida, I think it gave these fins gave me a little extra power and pop through those flat sections. Stoked Asa here talking about the Inferno FT. Why don't you give us uh, just how it felt underfoot and your experience on it? So uh, the board is super fast, super fun, um, just real sharp. You know, I was looking at some of the clips that we had and uh, I was like, man, that thing was just moving. Yeah. With the quad set up, really fun, but still kind of loose and playful. Yeah. You know, without having that center fin in there, super fun. Yeah, I, I per I've seen you surf the wave a bunch. We've been testing a ton of boards and I would say this is one of my favorite boards on you in like a high performance shortboard outline, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. I'd say so too. I'm not too keen on high performance outlines out here. Yeah. Because we've ridden a bunch. Right. But this particular model, the way it's set up, was just so fast. Top to bottom, I just felt like if I was looking at your footage, I was I would think that you're riding a thruster mm -hmm. or even a twin plus trailer. You're getting that kind of pivot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, putting the board on rail and that there's just so much squirt off the bottom turns. Mm -hmm. I was feeling a lot of the same just great carving and just the pivot was there and it didn't really lack anything as a quad in the pool. Not at all. It yeah. really didn't. Yeah, I bet this thing would go good in the ocean too. So would you say this is a favorite of yours? Definitely. Yeah, it is. Especially with the outline that it is. Yeah. I've been tossing it back and forth. Favorite, favorite, not favorite. And mm -hmm. I think it's the best high performance shortboard I've ridden in the pool to date. Yeah. It's got the yeah. rocker of a high performance shortboard. Yeah. It's carrying good speed mm -hmm. and I don't have to work hard for it. Yes, exactly. All those check the boxes mm -hmm. for a, a favorite high performance shortboard for yeah. me. Yeah, I agree. Totally. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's surfboard review on the SharpEye Inferno FT. I'm calling it a high performance shortboard. Best in that shoulder high to well overhead. It's carrying great speed. I think you guys will be stoked on it. So if it's not on your radar, you got to check one out. Special shout out thanks to Marcio Zuvi for joining us on the show. Asa. Eddie Lester, Eric Peterson, helping me put the board through the paces. Look, if you like the show, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss an episode, and give us a thumbs up if you like our content. Until next time, we'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.